guys, what is up? Welcome back to Rotors. Today we're gonna be working on the Unos Cosmo today, actually. And this is a swap that I've been wanting to do for a while and I got it because I really wanted to, but as you guys know, the Unos Cosmo is only an automatic car, so I actually bought a five-speed swap for it. So a, an S4 Turbo 2 transmission, bought clutches, drive shaft, uh, FD right-hand drive clutch pedal. So we're gonna get started on that. So I just gotta load up the car with all my stuff and let's hope that it starts because it's a really cold day. It's been sitting outside for a while. Hope the battery is not discharged, but let's give it a shot. Started right up, oh my god. It's been sitting for a solid two or three weeks now. Not bad. And people say rotaries are unreliable. All right, so we're on our way out to Rotor's performance. And you know what, I've just been driving this thing for probably about the past 15 minutes, we just got on the highway. And after owning this car for, uh, I bought it back in October, I think. I've owned this car for a few months, like, it's been sitting for like two or three weeks. Like, I forgot how awesome this car is, honestly, dude. Like, it's just like, it's weird to be in a car that's a rotary car, that's not like a cramped little like sports car box that buzzes and bounces everywhere. Like, this car is a purebred 100% 90s luxury car. Like, there's no question about it. It rides a little bit iffy because of the suspension. Like, it bounces a little too much for my taste, but like, it's super quiet. The engine makes like a nice, pleasant buzz, uh, just like a rotary buzz, but like, it's not like a RX-7 where it's like, you wanna like, grill, like, you know, like pull your ears out because it's so loud or like annoying or droning. Like it's just a nice, pleasant, smooth buzz. It sounds like honestly, I like it better than a piston engine just driving it around. Like you get a nice, nice sporty sound. The car still has cats on it, or has a cat on it, has a whole bunch of resonators, a whole bunch of bufflers. I think I'm gonna take the cat out and make it just a little bit, a little bit throatier, but like just driving this thing around, like I forgot how amazing of a car it is. Like I literally I haven't driven in two or three weeks because it snowed and like I put it away and I'm just driving the shop to get it the, the five speed on and honestly I think it has a five speed it's really cool and I've said it before like the automatic's really fun too just to drive because like you don't expect this car to go fast so it doesn't need to go fast but like I want to make it go fast but you don't need to go fast to enjoy the car it's just a nice cruiser it's super smooth it rides really nice it's quiet and pleasant I wish I had a radio but I haven't driven a rotor with AC and power steering before before this one um, so I mean it's just a nice car overall so so I'm on my way to the road, it's be there in a few minutes, and when I get there, we're gonna throw it up on the lift and get to work. So let's get at it. Snapple Apple Gang. It's plastic now. Don't buy it. But it's, we, that's the ones, the ones we have are plastic too, though. Really? Yeah. I missed the glass bottles. You, you really, you really peg somebody with a glass bottle. Hey! God damn it. There you go. Straight out. Straight. Straight. Yeah, go straight back. It's on fucking. It's fucking Pirelli's, bro. Alright, so we're in the Cosmo. What I'm gonna do is first take off all the center console stuff. Um, then we'll figure out how the shifter comes out. So, so much random plastics here and there. Just pop them off and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've removed the entire center console. What that does, that gives me access to the shifter, which has bolts that bolt it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the shifter, unplug all the, all the cables on the shifter, find the inhibitor switch, so that way the car knows when it's in neutral. I gotta jump that, that way the car always thinks it's in neutral. Um, but super easy to take out. It was like four screws and all the entire center console came out So that's not bad at all and I also found because I haven't wired, I haven't wired a radio in here yet, but I found the rear speaker wires But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the shifter and then from there We're gonna lift the car up unbolt the transmission and then start doing all the clutch work So I was searching through the car and the transmission tunnel. I found this Japanese Dippin' Dots point card, so I mean, I've got two already. I might as well go through the whole alphabet and get a get myself free dipping dots. Alrighty, so I've got the shifter removed. You guys can see the drive shaft right here. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I'm gonna go ahead and lift the car up, go underneath, start unbolting the cross member, 
um, undo the drive shaft, drain the transmission fluid, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull the trans out and uh, we'll go from there. So put up in the lift and let's get underneath it. All the bolts that are hanging all the exhaust stuff are gone. I'm just gonna pull the exhaust down so we can get this heat shield. Let's get the heat shield out, then we can pull the trans out and all that stuff. And then start swapping the new one in. So, Segretti exhaust. And we just hit these with some PB blaster. Oh wow, yeah, that makes it way easier. So we're gonna slip them out and uh, pull the exhaust down. So we got the exhaust off, which is a bitch. I don't want to show that because it took way too much effort. I went in and took the heat shield off the bottom. So what we have now is we have the drive shafts exposed here. With the transmission. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna unbolt these cross member bolts. And then uh, come over here, unbolt the transmission from the top, and then pull the transmission out. Pull the fly or pull the Pull the automatic flywheel out, then put the manual flywheel in, manual clutch. Go from there, so let's go ahead and pull everything out. <laughs> Alright, so drive shafts out. We're gonna take the cross member off after we drain all the fluid out of that front line there. And then uh we're just gonna take the cross member off and fucking send it. I'm gonna get all the way to the front of the car here. Oh my god. <laughs> that almost destroyed you, dude. Yeah, it like swung straight out at you. That was easy. Fucking send it. What's holding it down? A line. This? The top line. What's the top line? There's a line on the top that's holding it still. You can just cut it and it'll fall down. Well, she's out. Man. You were afraid of that bitch exploding. And on a torque converter? I think the ground wire may have saved me a little bit. <laughs> Good. Maybe Did. a lot. Good, solid, used Cosmo transmission works great. That does not look fun. It's not that bad. Oh, well, we probably could have just fucking pulled it out then. Well, here, you want to try? No, I don't. I saw, I saw you struggle. I you I'm saying with two people, we could have done it. I don't want to see you try. I, all right. So is everybody else? I'm not, I'm not going to lift this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Well. So we got a lot left to do. We're gonna put on a lightweight flywheel. Definitely get rid of the auto starter. Put an auto FC starter in. Mm -hmm. Put a new uh, eyelet on this ground. Reground it on the side of the block. But there you are. She's out. What's up guys? So I'm back home after we got done with the shop at Rotors. Um, but what you guys saw was we pulled the trans out. It's pretty straightforward, it's just like an FD. Um, with the 13 because it is literally the same transmission as an FD. What we gotta do now is I have to get the drive shaft fabricated, so I, I bought a Turbo 2 drive shaft with the modify the fit with the Cosmo one. But we need to mount my Turbo 2 transmission, um, put the clutch and flywheel on, um, and put the clutch hydraulics in as well as modify the fly uh, the firewall for the pedal. Um, the clutch pedal, I'm using an FD clutch pedal, um, and we'll be going there. So as, as we approach installing this stuff, I'm gonna go over what parts we're using, um, how we're doing it. I'm just doing tried and true what everyone else has done that I've read on the internet. Finding Cosmo information is not easy. Um, but hope you guys are enjoying this series. Or you're going to enjoy this series. It's gonna be a really quick one We're just kind of testing it out um, But thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you guys in the next one